Will Smith. Everybody's talking about Will Smith. You gotta make sure you mention Will Smith in your video for that algorithm boost. Will Smith. What's up guys? Not Will Smith here. Fuck my mouth! I'm going to, okay? There's been a few other current events that have happened since our last battle song video. First one, and probably the most obvious one, is this big old bitch. I traded in my MacBook Pro for a brand new iMac. This thing's crazy. I like it a lot. It's just like me. Too big and in the way. I got like a real mouse now. I can edit videos like twice as fast now. There was a Blade Show recently. I think it was in like Texas or something. So it was probably called like Blade Show Homophobic. There was one flipper they made like a vlog for it and I watched it, it was kind of cool. They made a fat joke in it and it absolutely destroyed me inside. And I wanted to let them know that because I'm white. I didn't know who this guy was, but apparently he knows me and I guess he doesn't like me. So like after I said that, his friends started like fat shaming me in the comments. Did you choke on your own neck fat while laughing at your own joke? Yes, I did. You really went for the throat with that one, huh? <laughs> Has a cry in comment section, realizes nobody in the community cares for him. And that's a really bold thing to say when you've got 13 subscribers. And then while all that was going on, my videos started getting reported, which, you know, is probably definitely just a coincidence. There was a short about the Orca clone. It got reported for, like, child endangerment. Because, you know, that dull Balasong trainer is a pretty big threat to the 26-year-old child in the video. Anyway, so that video got reported and taken down for like 30 seconds. I don't think the guy knew, but you can appeal when someone reports your video. And I did that. And YouTube right away was like, oh yeah, you did nothing wrong. So to celebrate that, we'll leave the message that they sent me saying that they put it back up for the rest of the video. Anyway, there was a lot of Squid Industry tsunami talk going on during that Blade show. Like everybody and their mom got a tsunami. Uh, DJ Eilis Pyro got one and he used his to just let the Balasong community embarrass itself, and I loved every second of it. I really do enjoy watching the goofballs in this community get put in their place. It's a special kind of boner I get, man, I swear. Anyway, what's the point of this video? Oh yeah, so anyway, at Black to Blade Show, everyone was going crazy about tsunamis and everyone got a tsunami. Uh, I didn't, but what I did get was this Nautilus a while ago, and that's what today's video is gonna be about. Cue the unboxing and the B-roll. I really like this B-roll. Leave a like for this B-roll. If you don't leave a like for this B-roll, then fuck you. Go, time warp! <laughs> Boy, it is mail day. That sun is right in my face. We are unboxing yet another ballet thong. As you can see, this one came in a pretty fucked box. So I think the box started off like this and they just sent it to me like that because it's like there's so much tape wrapped around it. So this is a Squid Industries package. Without further ado, let's see what's inside this bitch. Might as well just get in there the easiest way we can. Oh, look at that. They're taking one out of Atropos's book. Except Atropos actually, like, tears his up. Oh. Okay, this box is quite an upgrade from the box that the Triton came in. Bellis Hongs perform best when properly maintained. We highly recommend utilizing our Bellis Hong maintenance kit, which includes everything you need to take care of your Bellis Hong. Bro, just say you want more money. Anyway, this is your last chance to leave your like, leave a comment, share the video, make sure you subscribe, buy my YouTube OnlyFans. Enough. Pussy footing around. Let's pull back the foreskin. Ooh, dang, that felt good. All right, we got a very nice cinch pouch. Here's the grand reveal of my brand spanking new Squid Industries Winter Nautilus. Ooh, damn, fool. Ooh, man, look at that thing. Dang, I finally got one, boys. First flip. Bro. Dude. Dude. Ooh. Ooh. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Guys, I was not ready. God damn Jesus dick. Redonkulous how dialed this is. You guys hear that? Yeah, I don't either. I'm like shape I'm trying to I'm trying to jostle this bitch. And there's there's no tap whatsoever. No tap, and then there's there's literally no play. Holy shit. No wonder Will Jerk squid off so much.
real quick for uh, the rest of this video. If you enjoy, make sure you help the engagement on this video by leaving a like, leave a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions. I'm not gonna show the like graph that everyone always shows, but there's a lot of you that watch this channel that aren't subscribed, so I don't know what you're doing. Like if you regularly watch this channel and you're not subscribed, you might as well just shove an anvil up my ass. But yeah, subscribe, help a brother out. It takes like half a second and I will love you so much if you do. And if you don't, I hate you. We're on the road to 15K, really 17K, cause seven is better than five. I don't know, let's say 17K. Once I get to 17K, I'll show my boobs real hard. How about that? Also, give me money, goddammit. You simps will pay for half naked pictures of your high school crush, but you aren't willing to help support the channel and get top secret exclusive videos in exchange for that? You are the hippoist of the hippo crips, sir. And I don't even know what to say to you anymore. So I'm gonna stop being a tool and we're actually gonna talk about the Squid Nautilus. So yeah, a few months ago I told you guys a story about how I got scammed out of getting a Squid Nautilus. By the way, fuck Zell. I tried to get that $200 back, but Zell, like most Americans, don't know what accountability is. So they were just like, wasn't none of my business. So I, I didn't get that money back. A few weeks after that, Squid Industries restocked their Winter Nautilus and I was ready. Everyone knows that battle song drops always sell out stupid fast. I got so mad, I decided to make the entire world look like a turtle taking a shit and then dying and beat everyone to the drop. I was like Rock Lee and I dropped my weight. I re-unlocked that superhuman speed that I have. Last time I did that, I destroyed my shoulder. But I wanted a Winter Nautilus so bad that I used the Forbidden Jutsu one more time. The day these dropped, I embarrassed everybody from Usain Bolt to Sonic the Hedgehog. You are gonna see Sonic in his next movie holding a Winter Blue Nautilus. You know why? Because I beat him. Bro wishes he knew what speed was. You may see on the news that Ezra Miller got arrested for disorderly conduct. Really, I just embarrassed the Flash so hard that he has to go seclude himself and he needed an excuse. Now, you've probably seen other Not Alive video, probably the Will Hirsch one where Brandon does the review, but in that one, they use a red Nautilus and man, red, you know what red reminds me of? It reminds me of the blood that comes out of my ass when I see a color that isn't as cool as blue. There's another guy on here that did make like a video about a blue winter Nautilus, but he embraced the Balasong community's foot fetish a little too much, so I couldn't actually watch that video that long. But don't worry, folks, I got one now. And Denden, Den, your big bad boner daddy, is gonna help you out. So let's talk about the specs of this here bad boy. Um, I don't know what kind of blade steel this is. Uh, Squid uses like weird blade steel, but yeah, it's got it's got blade and it's made of steel. The handles are Chanwich handles. They're channel aluminum with G10 grafted onto it. Uh, this may be a little bit of a hot take. I don't think I like aluminum balisongs. I don't know, man. It might be my big mandingo dick fingers, but with the aluminum balisongs, I always feel like I'm just working really hard to not have it slip out of my hands. But when you slap some G10 over those aluminum handles, it improves the grip quite a bit. One thing I wish they did, one thing I wish they did though, maybe in like the next iteration of Not Alive, is maybe implement some jimping into the aluminum part. Because uh, when you do ladders on this thing, sometimes it wants to slip out of your hand. I just did a perfect one, but sometimes it wants to slip out of your hand when you're doing ladders, and that's like the only time I ever notice it wanting to fly out of my hands. Maybe that could be another improvement that they do. But yeah, it's 60, 65, or 61, I don't know what the number is, but. 6,000 series aluminum. I wish it was 7,000 series aluminum because the Kraken is made out of 7,000 series aluminum, but this is more expensive. So I don't know why they don't. The only reason I can think of why they wouldn't use 7,000 series, maybe 7,000 series aluminum is too light for this design. At least I hope that's what it is. But yeah, also on this bad boy, we got bronze phosphorus washers, which is pretty much an industry standard now. It's also got one of the most fine-tuned bush, bushing? One of the most fine-tuned bushing systems I've ever seen on a battle song. It damn near blew my balls off how dialed this thing came out of the box and like even now after like a few months there's just barely a little bit of play oh oh if I shake it hard enough if I act like it's a shake weight and shake it hard enough so I think there's tap a, a little bit with how hard I just had to try to get this thing to have tap I would just so I would just say that's no tap. If you have to like try that hard to get a battle song to tap and it does once you put in that much energy and then you try and act like it's suddenly a piece of shit, you're not a good reviewer. <laughs> we'll just say it has no tap unless you're going out of your way to give it tap. All right, we did the specs. Let's go actually flip this thing.
So, how do she flip? I really like it. I feel like I start all my flipping sections off like that. But uh, I like this one. This one's definitely different. I think the biggest thing about this Bala song is that it's really light. One of my very first Bala songs was like this really lazy attempt at a Benchmade 42 clone. And then the other one was one of those aluminum like scorpion handled Bala songs. I really loved how light the scorpion handled Bala song was because I could just yeet that thing up into the air and just do like so many aerials with it. I've never really had another super lightweight battle song since then. I didn't really know many tricks, so really all I did was just aerials with it. And so it took me a minute to get used to doing like all my regular tricks with a super lightweight battle song. I've had this thing for about a month or two already. It's been a while and I really like it. It's weird with this one, it's like you don't have to try as hard, which can honestly kind of throw you off for a second since it's so much lighter is that there's not as much momentum getting thrown around. Some people say it's handle bias. I even think on Squid's website, it says it's supposed to be handle bias, but I don't really feel it. It might just be that it's just so light that it feels neutral. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really feel like it when you're flipping though, but what the fuck do I know? Yeah, this thing is, Stupid fun for aerials. I could do them all day with this thing. Fans feel good and everything else on it feels really nice. Scissors are kind of consistent on it. I mean, about as consistent as I can be with scissors. I've seen people flip the absolute balls off this thing, so I really wouldn't worry about it not being a good flipper. It hooks on the chaplains really well, which surprised me. I felt like since it's a lighter weight, it might have wanted to fly out of my hands, but no. No, I stand corrected. It just took, it just takes a little bit getting used to. And the reason this video is titled Why This Bala Song Ruined Other Bala Songs For Me is because I got used to how this thing flips and I flipped it nonstop for like two weeks. I tried to go back to my other Bala Songs and oh my God, it felt like I was flipping like an entirely different object. It was so bizarre. I had to, everything felt so damn heavy. Most of my Bala Songs aren't even heavy. Like my replicant felt like it was made out of lead, but it did take some getting used to to both flip this and then it took some more getting used to to go from flipping this to something else. That kind of happens with every single battle song you get. There is that like learning curve and then learning how to go between battle songs. I'm sure like getting a squiddy is a pretty similar experience. Now this is a squid product and the first ever official full-blown battle song unboxing and review I ever did was of the squid Triton. See, what the hell? It feels like a bowling ball. <laughs> anyway, the other day I was looking at the stats of my Squid Triton video and I realized that that video I think is the most viewed video about a Squid Triton, which is bonkers. It's almost at 100,000 views and holy shit. <laughs> I did not expect that video to perform so well, especially since it was my very first unboxing and review of a Bala song. But anyway, I think it would be appropriate to compare these two since they are the two Squid products that I own. And oh my balls is this thing so much better. Now don't get me wrong, my Triton is always, is gonna have a special place in my heart, even if I let it go one day, but it's not that great. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty crazy when I first got it and was first getting back into Bala songs and seeing all these crazy new products, I still really do enjoy it. It flips really awesome. It's just, it's super slippery and where's the handle gap? <laughs> these V1 Tritons did not have the best quality control. I remember Squid left a big old comment on that video, but I, when I was looking at it the other day, that comment is gone and I didn't get rid of it. So they must have deleted it. Maybe they don't like me anymore, but hey, I still like their products. But anyway, this is quite the big step up. I mean, it's within the same family, but they are pretty different. Like Zen pins versus Tang pin, full aluminum versus Chanwich aluminum and G10. The Tonto blades are different. The length is different. The thickness is actually about the same. This doesn't have bushings, this does. Like the reason this is more expensive is not just for it to be more expensive. It is definitely 100% a better product. Before we wrap up this video, there's one more thing that I wanna talk about, and unfortunately, it's a negative. So, so far, really the only negative that I've talked about is just that this flat spot of aluminum right here is pretty slippery. My other one big gripe, specifically in these newer winter nautili that come in blue, is what the fuck is this blue? <laughs> this color of blue is such a downgrade from the color of blue that they used to use. I know that they switched their anodization because this is like a stronger anno and it lasts longer or something, but man, that old blue looked so damn good. It looks so much better than this blue because half the time you literally can't even tell this is blue. It gets me soft. I'm kind of being a blue elitist right now, but this blue kind of disappoints me. It's like the color of blue you guys used to use was like the star child. And then this blue is kind of like the redheaded stepchild. Of course, I still love it, but you know, I'd, I'd rather the other blue. Like you can tell that it's blue in the thumbnail, but I'm not gonna even front. I really had to saturate that picture in order for the blue to show up. I mean, I guess it could be a worse blue, but this is a pretty dark blue and it kind of 
Might as well just be a black squid nautilus, honestly. Half the time I think it is. It's still blue, even though 75% of the time you can't tell. But yeah, that's probably my only like other gripe that I have about this thing. It's got a slippery side and the blue sucks. It's like the only two bad things I can think of to say about this Balasong. For the rating, overall, flipping, quality control, fit and finish, everything considered, I'd probably give this thing a 9.7. 7 out of 10. Actually, let's make it 7 repeating, just so we can have as many 7s as possible, because seven's my favorite number. I almost said seven's my favorite color, and that means we should probably wrap up this video. Oh, I think I can sit right here and I'll be in frame. This is a damn good Balasong. Now, obviously, I would really enjoy if these were cheaper, but considering it's made in America, and just the straight up quality you get out of this thing, at least that I got out of mine, I feel like I spent my money well. Oh yeah, I didn't do the sound test. Here's what the sound test is now after a month or two. As you can see, it's still nutty as all hell. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you let me know and leave a comment on this video. Leave a like as well to help the engagement on this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, buy the membership. Bye.